Hi folks, right here we are another one. Uh, this is David Stowe. I uh, I was going to go to St Neot but um, I decided to come to this one because I passed here last week and the grass was looking pretty good so uh, I shouldn't get too much uh, of the old wet feet. So anyway here we go. We'll start. Thomas Baker. Who died at Stoke Limbs in June 1900, aged 77. That's Baker. I see there's a lot of, uh, quite a lot of new names I can see. We've got John Baker. Died at Penhale in 1898. For me of Tintagel, which is just up the road. He was aged 63, and his wife Elizabeth, who died at Helston Lanteglos, which is it's about eight miles away, I suppose. She died in um, what's that? 1923, aged 33. That's Baker. There's another Baker here. John Baker. Died at Penhale in 1902, 1902 aged 36. Ah, now the sun's coming out. Brilliant. I can see Bennett's, loads of Bennett's, Ham, Chapman, okay we've got Anna, Anna Alice, a lovely stone as well look at that, oh, yeah, stained glass windows up there looking lovely, I don't know if we can get inside there have a look later on. Right, Anna Alice, beloved wife of C and H Baker, who have not come across here yet. Who died at Hellstone Lanteglos, which is let's say about six miles away from here. She died in 1924, aged 56. Also Charles Henry. Ah, here we go. C H Charles Henry, interred at Tintagel Methodist Cemetery. He died at Bassinid Tintagel in 1957, aged 82 years. So these four are bakers. Hopefully I shall get a few uh, get a few hours here. I'll try not to do the modern greys, which I'm not really Okay, what's this one? This one's a very old one, worn away by the look of it. I can see William. Jane. Ah, yeah, Jane, daughter of the above, died in 1813, aged 18 months. If I can just get a name here. Let's see, William. What's that say there? You can usually see better through the video when you... It looks like it could have been 1811 there. Shh. 
shame I got no name on that one. Okay, I just spotted Baker Chapman over there. So we'll go and have a look at that one in a minute. And the lights, the lights, lovely, you know, folks. We'll carry on here. Love Day. The wife of Diggory Saltern. Saltern. Interesting because I went past a grave that was nearly walled down in it. It looked like it was Saltern and I thought, well, not. I've never heard of that. So this would confirm it. Anyway, Love Day died in 1846, age 57. See if there's any older ones here. Go back through the rows. I'm going to try to do every one here. It's a video. Here we've got Rebecca Hain, daughter of William and Mary Ann Pethick of Trawassa. This is which is here. Um, she died in 1856, aged 20. And also of Anne Pethick, a sister of the above, who died 12th of April, 1857, aged 6 years. Oh, that's a shame. That's Rebecca Hain. I am taking photographs. Here we've got Edwin Rowe. I know people are looking for Rose. Edwin Rowe. Son of William and Elizabeth Rowe, who died on the 16th day of April 1855, aged 17. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, there's lots of rows up around this way, up around. Um, <coughs> I'm up on the moors now. Uh, seem to be a lot of rows hailing from here. So, I mean, the next one there is just got several rows on as well. A lovely old stone. Sarah, the wife of Sampson Row, died 29th of April, on well, my birthday again, 1847, aged 69. Also Rebecca, daughter of William and Elizabeth Row of Camelford. Camelford who died 29th of April 1850, aged five years. So they died. Sarah died 1847, aged 69. Rebecca died on the same blooming date in 1850. Three years later. Hang on, now that's not right, is it? She's age five, so. <clears throat> Some old graves here, folks. So that's row. R O W E. We're moving on now. I cannot see no names. It's one of them. John. I don't know if I can see this one, Fogs. John Gillard Gillard G 
I double L A or D. much on that one. John Gillard anyway. Could be a date they're saying 1851 but I'm not sure. Ah hang on a minute. Right that's John Gillard. Lovely old cross as well. Next door here we have Mary Gillard. So that's uh, corrected me there. Underneath lies the body of Mary Gillard. Mother of John Gillard, clerk. Clerk. He was a clerk, John was. The parish in the year sorry, died February the first, eighteen forty. Mary did. So John was a clerk of here obviously I would have thought. That big old stone that is look. That's Mary. Yeah I'm gonna be doing these videos about uh, 20 minutes at a time now, just 20 minutes long. Here we've got Sarah Flood, <coughs> who died at Tweeden in this parish on the 7th of September 1897, aged 57 years. Okay, I'll go back down here. I don't think I did this row. Yeah, here we go. We're back to the bakers. Let's get a good photograph of that. Here we go. Susan Baker Chapman, daughter of John and Tom, Tom, uh, Thomasine Chapman. She departed this life on the 18th of July, 1857, aged nine years. Bless her. Little lifelet. It's a shame that is. And we have Elizabeth, wife of Diggory Diggory Chapman of this parish. Do you know I've come across Diggory Chapman before and I thought it was at um St Eve. I wonder if it's the same guy. One of his wives who departed this life. Uh, Elizabeth departed this life in April the 12th, 1817, aged 71 years. The mosquitoes are biting me again. Here we have George Chapman. He died in 1884, aged 75 years. Also, Prudence, the wife of the above, who died in 1880, aged 79. George, George and Prudence Chapman. Um, just step back a minute here, folks. I don't think I've done this one here. We've got William Ham, 
William died 29th of October 1882 844 Kath Kathleen Ham died January the 5th 1888 Ham. And here we have Frank Vile Theodore, the beloved child of um, letters gone on that one. Summon T and T and E Stevens. Of Holsworth, Holworthy, and little Frank died. In eighteen ninety four, aged aged five months. Oh, shame. Little Frank was aged five months. That's Stevens. T and E Stevens. Okay, folks. Here we have Grace Bennett. Started in the Bennett's. I can see a load of them here. Uh, Grace Bennett, who died at Chaway, St. Julio, in 1900, aged 81. Also, in the living memory of Hannah M. Bennett, who died 10th of February, 1826, aged 70. Here we've got William Bennett, born at Tresley in 80, in this parish. He was born in 1813 and he died at St. Juliet, Julio on March 12, 1888, also in love and memory of E.P. Bennett, youngest twin daughter of the above. He died in California in the 9th November 1898, 35 years. It's unusual. E.P. Bennett, in love memory of E.P. Bennett, youngest twin of daughter. Died in California in 1890. Wonder why she went there then. Here we have John Henry Bennett. John Henry Bennett. He died in August 1941, aged 83, and also his wife Alice Marie Bennett. Mary Bennett. He died in 1937, aged 74. We've got more Bennett's back here. In memory of John Bennett. Late of Trisley. Yeah, the Bennett's were all round Trisley by the look of it. He died on the 14th of November 1851, aged 40. Also, Elizabeth Pethick Bennett, daughter of the above, who died the 13th of March 1851, aged four years and nine months. Also, Eliza Wills Bennett daughter of the aforesaid John Bennett who died in 1851 aged two years and ten months so I'm hoping somebody will get connections with all the, the Bennett's here it's beautiful now the sun's out here I've got all my coats on here we go more Bennett's 
Then we have Henry Bennett, Yeoman, late of Tresley, who departed this life on the 27th of July, 1847, age 70. Also Elizabeth, the wife of Henry Bennett, who departed this life on the 25th of March, 1845, age 63. Right, folks, that concludes this... Uh, Hang on a minute. Now we've got some more Bennets. Bit of, bit of a chest to me here. The Bennets were fine people by the look of it. We've got John Bennett. Remains of John Bennett departed his life. On the 17th day of July. Aged 78. Also, the south side of this tomb lies the body of Mary Bennett, who departed this life on the 27th day of October 1792, aged 51. Also, John, their son, who departed this life. In 1806, age 31. In July. So why didn't John have a date then? Died, departed his life on 17th day of July. But no year. Mary Ellen, Mary Bennett, the above. Here we got, here lies the body of Henry Bennett. Henry Bennett of this parish departed this life. The third day of January 1769. In the 88th year of his age. Also the body of Jennifer, Jennifer Bennett, wife of Henry. We departed this life in December, 24th December 1778, in her 88th year. Okay folks, that concludes uh, this first part of David Stowe Church. Can see loads of Haynes H A Y N E. So we'll see what that brings in part two. So if you want to like and subscribe, uh, tell your friends please. Uh, bye for now on part one of David Stowe Church.